Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. This week's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do the uh, shimmer or shine effect in Flash. We came across a bit of uh, news this week and we found a website which is quite interesting, so James is going to show us that now. Uh, www.mgdgroupinc.com. Um, quite an interesting website. Looks very familiar, James, I must admit. So, this week's uh, video tutorial, as we said, is going to be how to do the uh, flash, shimmer, or shine effect. So, the flash, shine, or shimmer technique works particularly well with cars. Uh, for this example, I've just got a picture of the uh, new Ferrari that's coming out. And essentially, what I'm going to do is create a um, shimmer going up the bonnet and windshield, and a second one going from left to right, covering the alloy wheels and the side window. So, the first thing I need to do is to highlight all the areas that are going to be affected by the two different shimmers. So. I'm going to create a new layer, uh, zoom in to make it a lot more accurate, and select the Bezier tool. And essentially all you want to do is draw shapes around all of the areas that are going to be included in the mask. So I'm just doing this one very quickly. Like so, and just fill that in. Okay, so as I said, because we're doing this in two different phases, one shimmer going up and across the bonnet and windshield, and the second one going across the car from left to right, um, I'm essentially going to do mine on two layers. So once you've uh, got that far, you should have something that looks like this. So I've done all the windows, the light clusters, the Ferrari badge on the bonnet, and both alloy wheels. And on the wheels, I've just highlighted the sort of light rays, the ones that would be affected. Okay, so also as you can see up here, I've separated them onto two layers. So if I just hide layer four, you can essentially see layer two, which is my first sweep, which is the lights and the windshield. And then if I just swap that round, you can see my second sweep, which is the side window and the two alloy wheels. So let's just delete that first test layer. So the way we're going to do this is by essentially using a gradient so let's start with um, the side here. So if you select the rectangle tool, then select the color tool, and we want to essentially make a gradient. Okay, so for the gradient, I essentially want to make three colors, make them all white. Then on the, oops, then on the left and the right colours, I'm just going to turn the opacity right down to zero. On the middle one, I'm usually just sort of set that to about eighty. So essentially, that should give us a gradient like this. So. Just need to get rid of the stroke. And there's our gradient. I'm also just going to set this on a slight angle by rotating it. And because I want the, the second shimmer, the one we're doing now, to appear slightly after the first, I'm just going to start this at uh, 20 on my timeline. I'm now going to create a keyframe at 40. So I'm going to have this sweep across 20 keyframes. I'm going to move this over to the right-hand side. And I'm going to create a tween. So as you can see, the gradient is going to move from left to right. So I'll just show that again, like so. Now we can copy this and make another layer. And we'll do the one goes up the bonnet. So same principle, just positioning that in place there. And this one on the timeline is going to go from 1 to 20. Again create a classic tween, and this time I'm going to move this one up to the top of the car. So now when we test it, this one goes up the bonnet and the one goes down the side, like so. Now I'm going to use my 
masked areas. So this is the one for the side. So I'm going to move this above layer 10, which is my left to right gradient. I'm going to create that by right clicking it and going to mask. Then my second layer, which is this one. I'm going to move this above layer 11. Again, create a mask. And now if you view this, test movie, you can see the shimmer effect working going up the bonnet and down the side of the car. This week's showcase, we're going to look at a uh, website called IE Net Renderer. If you've got a website um, and you want to check that it works on IE6, IE7, IE8, as well as on a Macintosh, um, then it can be quite tricky to actually test it. So if you go to a website, just HTTP, colon slash slash ipinfo.info forward slash net renderer. Uh, essentially it's by Geotech and you can enter your web address. So um, for example, again, we'll use instinctivehorsetraining.co.uk. You can render a screenshot of the website um, in IE 8, 5, 6, uh, right down to 5.5. .5. So this is very useful for checking that your website appears uh, the same across multiple platforms. Again, if you've got any questions or comments this week, please leave them on the YouTube channel or the blog, and thanks for watching.